What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and I cannot tell you how excited I am to be sitting in this chair talking to y'all previewing a regular season Jacksonville Jaguar game. Ladies and gentlemen, the NFL season is back. It starts today. The Bears and the Packers are going to be doing battle. And the only reason I have interest in that game is because I have Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams between my four fantasy leagues. So I will be watching them, and I'm going to be very interested. And NFL football is back, so that's always good for the NFL fan. But today we're here to talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Kansas City Chiefs. This is going to be one hell of a start-off matchup for the Jaguars in 2019. This is going to be a game that shows what the Jaguars are really going to be all about this year, and I'm very, very excited. And if you watch my picks, you already know how I think the outcome of this game is going to play out. And if you haven't watched that video already, go over to my YouTube channel, click on my most recent video before this one, and watch and see what our picks are, and make sure you participate as well by leaving your picks in the comment section down below. But let us waste no more time, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Kansas City Chiefs Week Number 1 Preview. So to kick things off, this is going to be a really good matchup. I think Chiefs fans are kind of overlooking the Jaguars, to be honest. I think they're looking at this game as the Jaguars went 5-11, and they have Nick Foles, we have an overpowered offense, and we're just going to be mopping the floor with the Jags. Chiefs fans, if you're watching this, I'm going to tell you that that can't be further from the truth. This Jaguar defense is going to step up. When the Jags played the Chiefs last year, sure, the Chiefs dominated and they won. Mahomes didn't throw a single touchdown that game, and he threw two interceptions. That's how good this defense is. They gave Patrick Mahomes, the league MVP, the biggest run for his money out of any defense in the league last year. Whether you want to say that or not, it is 100% true. The Jaguars defense did everything they needed to do in order to win in a big game. But the Blake Bortles factor is what prevented the Jaguars from ending up getting that victory from a season ago. The Jags go out, they get Nick Foles. This is a guy that is going to make this team better. This is why I don't understand what people commenting down below saying they don't have faith in Nick Foles. This is a guy that does it. He does it, man. We've been waiting for a guy that can just do it for a super, super long time. Blake Bortles was a guy that just couldn't do it. Yeah, sure, he was mobile. He could get out of the pocket every now and again, but he couldn't make the throws necessary in order for us to win the game. And I think this is going to be the game that you guys get to really know D.D. Westbrook, you know, a game where you get to see Marquise Lee come back, and it's going to be very, very interesting to see Nick Foles play with the ones. I'm also very excited to see how John DeFell Lupo is going to call this first offensive game. You know, the new offensive coordinator for the Jaguars used to be Nick Foles' uh, quarterback coach in Philadelphia the year that he won the Super Bowl, of course. It's going to be very interesting because, you know, throughout the preseason, I think the Jags, you know, they ran a couple of things that didn't go so well because, you know, there weren't any starters out there and, you know, we were <clears throat> kind of hiding all of our talent for the regular season. That was Doug, Doug Marone's philosophy this year. And I really think that, we ran a limited amount of plays. I don't think we ran our whole entire playbook, and I'm very, very excited to see what this playbook is going to look like against Kansas City. Because Kansas City's defense did get better with Frank Clark, and this offensive line, man, this offensive line is going to be one thing I'm going to be keeping a very, very sharp eye on. This offensive line needs to do its job and needs to protect Nick Foles and needs to keep him upright. Because if Foles does get pressured, then I can see him crumbling a little bit, you know, under that pressure because he's going to be getting attacked, you know, often by guys like Frank Clark, you know. So, you know, Jaywan Taylor, Cam Robinson, you know, these are going to be guys that we know can be good that are going to need to step up and play to the level that they need to play. This offensive line as a whole, man, is, you know, and it's much of, much of the same in the preseason. You know, we talked a lot about the offensive line and how well they were going to do. This front five from the outside looking in looks like an excellent unit. You know, whoever's going to be up playing the other guard spot, whether it be A.J. Cannon or Will Richardson, I think as of now, Will Richardson did get the start, which is wild because it's like, why even give A.J. Can that contract? Maybe try and trade him down the road. I don't know. A.J. Can can also be good depth, though. He'd be a solid backup guard. But, you know, we're going to see how Will Richardson performs. You know, a guy that me and Jason talked about uh, when we discussed the Jaguars. We talked about Will Richardson and how I thought that 
you know, he deserved a chance to start and he deserved a chance to have an opportunity to play for the Jaguars this year. But he was the guy that got kept out of a lot of action last season. So this is going to be his first, you know, real look at the regular season. He didn't play a single snap in the regular season last year. So again, that's going to be very, very interesting to see how Will Richardson holds up against his defensive line. The offensive line versus the, uh, our offensive line versus the Chiefs defensive line is going to be one of my favorite matchups to watch this season. Or this, this game at least. Now, our defensive line against their offensive line is going to be interesting, too, because the Chiefs did lose Mitch Morris. You know, their offensive line isn't as solid as it was a year ago. We really need to get pressure on Patrick Mahomes, and I think this is going to be very interesting to see what the defensive game plan is going to be for the Jaguars because I think that we should run a lot of man coverage because we have the corners that can do it, but these wide receivers also have insane speed. You know, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Ramsey is going to be following Tyreek Hill. Of course, that's going to be the matchup. And if you didn't watch my uh, Jags fans perspective versus non-fans perspective, when we discussed this game, we went over it, and we went over like all these other games, you know, maybe the thought behind Jalen Ramsey not getting a new contract, you know, as us as fans, we know Jalen Ramsey's a stud, we know he's the best corner in the league, but this year he's facing like damn near every single top tier wide receiver, so it's like, if Jalen had needed a year to prove it or needed a year to make his money, this is the year to do it, and it starts off with going up against a guy like Tyreek Hill. So, and he's going to be following him all game long. Sammy Watkins and A.J. Boye, another good matchup. I'm really curious to see how these linebackers fare and these safeties once, you know, covering Travis Kelsey. You know, we can't let a lot of big plays happen. The two things on the defensive side of the ball that need to happen for the Jaguars in order to be successful in this game is to limit big plays on defense and control the ball on offense. We need to keep this Kansas City Chiefs offense off the field. I want our defense to prevent the big plays, you know, get the three and outs that we need, prevent them from getting into field goal range, prevent them from scoring touchdowns, really. Because, you know, I think the Jaguars offense, the way that it's built, has an opportunity to just run certain plays and to run things well to keep this Chiefs offense off the field and, you know, have them have limited snaps. The Jags need to dominate the time of possession if they're going to be successful in this game. And I think that's another major key to victory in this game is limiting Patrick Mahomes' looks on offense. And when the defense is out there, they ball out. They play to their full potential. Josh Allen, another guy, very excited. 3-4 defense is going to be awesome to watch. Quincy Williams, another guy, going to get his opportunity to start and play some football. Miles Jack just got paid. This whole defense as a whole is going to be very, very exciting exciting to watch and again they need to make sure that the Chiefs do not commit a lot of big plays and the Jags need to make sure on the offensive side of the ball that they're controlling the ball and that starts off with the run game with Leonard Fournette. Now we already talked about John Defoe Lupo a little bit and how he's going to be calling this offensive game and you know he's been saying all offseason that this offense runs through Leonard Fournette. Everything this offense does goes through Fournette and we need Fournette to be you know, playing well in order to be successful. And, you know, I don't necessarily not buy that because I think that's that's true. Like, we need Leonard Fournette to play well in order for this team as a whole to play good football. But as much as I think that this offense is going to be directly running through Leonard Fournette all season, I'm not sure I buy it so much. I think Filippo is going to be giving Nick Foles a lot of freedom to kind of throw the ball, and hopefully he dials up some pass plays. You know, Filippo got released in Minnesota because they felt that he was passing the ball too much. So, you know, it, it's gonna it's, it's hard to believe that he's going to you know, come into Jacksonville and just run the ball dominant with Leonard Fournette, even though that's kind of been the Jaguars' play style. But I'd like to see the the, the whole offensive play calling change. Like, that's been the biggest problem for the Jaguars on the offensive side of the ball for a long, long time now. It's just super predictability. You know, run, run, pass, third and eight. You know, gain a three on a drag route, punt the ball. Like, we need to do more. Like, we need to pass, we need to run, we need to trick these guys, run some play action, do some things that is going to keep Andy Reid, you know, kind of off balance. Because this is going to be a hard game to win, not only because of the talent on the field, but because of the coach on the other sidelines. Obviously, Andy Reid, one of the best coaches of all time, one of the best coaches in the league. It's going to be a very, uh, coach-heavy game. It's going to come down to whoever has the best game plan, and you know the Jaguars 
obviously knew that they've been that they were going to play the Chiefs week one for a while now and you got to imagine that Doug Marone John DeFilippo Tal Wash all those guys they've been in the coaches room they've been jotting up game plans and trying to figure out what is going to work against this Kansas City Chiefs team that was in the AFC championship a season ago it's going to be a very very interesting matchup I think the Jaguars are going to manage to get the victory because I think our defense matches up well with their offense and their defense doesn't really blow me away this year and I think our offense is going to be able to put up some points we're going to have a new quarterback everything's going to be exciting everything's going to be fun and I am so blessed to be alive to watch more Jaguar football because that seizure could have took everything away from me and I could have not even been watching this game I couldn't even have watched Nick Foles' first snap as a Jaguar and that would have been tragic but again blessed to be alive blessed to watch Jacksonville Jaguar football and I am so very very excited to watch this game and I will see you guys on the flip side on the recap on Sunday and that was my Jaguars versus Chiefs week number one preview what did you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget jet links down below you can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley also if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video I drop new content on this channel six days a week ain't nobody outworking me them are just straight facts thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always you guys have a great rest of your day